I think the empathy that the horses have with the disabled athletes is even probably even stronger than, than we have for a variety of reasons. I think the horses realise that they have to be a little more in tune. Happy with that? Yeah. Good, you should be. My involvement in Equine Pathways Australia started back in about 2006. I've always been a, a horse ki horsey kid growing up. I tried all other things. I did go to uni, did a science degree, went off and did a teaching degree and ended up back, every time I ended up back with horses. The key that draws you back into it is definitely the horse. The personality of the horses, every horse being different and just, the, just that empathy that you have with the horse and they have with you. It's quite incredible. Straight down the centre line, and when you get to X, you can halt. So in between E and B, have a sneaky look out of each eye, look to the left and see B, look to the right and see E. Already taking a big breath in, and breathe out, and halt. The horses have to really concentrate to pick up what it is that the athletes are after, mm -hmm. and the athletes also have to really have a different level of communication with the horses, because they can't use the normal aids and skills that we do. I can guarantee you, Everyone that comes here for the first time at some point through the weekend will cry. It's just happy tears, but it's just such... Um, see, I'm starting now. It's such an inspiring place to be. <laughs> you don't care. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. don't even care. He's a good boy. You are a sweetheart. In 12 months time, he'll be a really nice horse. Yeah. Mm. Lou Cooper is one of our athletes who's come from the racing industry after a fall. And, you know, she's T4 paraplegic, so she shouldn't be able to do the things that she does. And the day that she was riding a horse called Rocky, and she'd been, <laughs> here I go. She'd been riding him for a little while, probably about five months and he made the decision this day that she was ready to canter. So he just plopped into this beautiful canter and just the look on her mum, her mum was just beside herself, the look on Lou's face and it was just an amazing moment for her because you know she really didn't know that she'd ever be able to do that again. And that happens, it, it happens over and over and over. Pretty much every clinic there's something like that where you just well, I burst into tears because it's just so emotional and being able to offer that possibility to people to do that. It's, it's the most rewarding experience you could ask for. I don't think there's many people who are lucky enough to have such an emotional moment and, and I really do. Like I get, I have this, this chance to see people really develop and really be joyful and you know, that's, that's pretty amazing. I think when people see what the program is doing for, for the athletes it's, and, and for horses too, I mean there's the opportunity for, for some horses who don't necessarily have a future in, a particular, in another field will have a future here. So that side of it's fabulous as well. But at the moment we're, we're relying on volunteers and donations to do what we do. One of the things that the statements that I really like one of the athletes came up with was she, she's always had a dream, but she doesn't have a dream anymore, she has a goal. And that, that's pretty cool, because it's now got steps and pathways towards that, and so that's what turns a dream into a goal, is actually having that pathway.